Fortnite mechanics. What is it and how do you improve them? In Fortnite, I would say there are three primary mechanics to master. One is aim, the other one is building, and the third one being editing. In today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into how to improve them, what to do, what not to do, and what to understand about mechanics to become better. So, with that said, let's hop right on into it. In order to make this video, I asked for some guidance over on Twitter, and one comment really stood out to me. It was a comment by Oblivion Quadri, and he said, Train them consistently. It's not about how much you train them, it's how you train them. Let's take editing for example. You can use the same edit course over and over and see huge improvement in the start, but that will fade away. Find new ways to train things. I couldn't have said it better myself, therefore I want to give credit to Oblivion Quadric for commenting this as this was very, very helpful. So basically to conclude what Oblivion Quadric is saying, it's basically all about not playing the same things over and over again. But of course, if you are new to the game, playing one edit course for a long time to improve your mechanics is probably not the worst idea. Moving on in the same post, Nyko IOS, and yes, this might be a mobile player, but he actually had a really really good comment, and he said, not only free building retakes, but also tunnels and all combinations of them. Nowadays people just do retakes and forget about tunnels with ramps behind them, editing to switch tunnels, going up layers or down. I think the word to describe what I mean is flow, practice it. And honestly, this is incredibly well said and written by Nitro iOS. What I think he in short means is that you should practice real game scenarios in creative even though you have unlimited map. Try to limit yourself. Maybe have 500 wood, 300 brick and 100 metal. Do some builds, understand how much mats you have, be mat conservative. Try using quite a bit of mats, try going for high ground like you would in a custom game or even a tournament. But in general, I just think what Nyko iOS is saying here is that you should practice real game scenarios in creative to better your mechanics. And I couldn't agree more. Next up, I got a lot of comments saying do practice combat aim or edit maps in creative. And yes, I do agree practice maps are incredibly good when it comes to improving your mechanics. However, what is really important when you are doing these practice maps is that you do a map that fits your skill. Let's say you're brand new to Fortnite. Doing Raider 464's impossible edit map is probably not the best way to improve your mechanics. Search the web a bit and try to find something that fits you and what you need to work on. This is a very strong recommendation from me, as you guys all know that I have been doing edit courses back in the day for hours upon hours on end. And I can, with my hand on my heart, say that those edit maps has helped me become the mechanical player I am today. Moving on, we gotta talk about keybinds. And I also got a comment from a good friend of mine named Fredster saying that you should optimize your keybinds. If you feel that you are limiting yourself because of your keybinds, now is probably not the right time to switch. But right after Duo's FNCS is over, I would strongly recommend optimizing your keybinds. This is only if you feel like your keybinds are holding you back. As a lot of you guys probably know, my keybinds are not optimized at all, but I feel comfortable with them and I'm happy with my mechanics as they are and I do not feel limited because of my mechanics and keybind. However, this is really important to think about, especially if you feel like you're getting nowhere with your mechanics, hey, it might be your keybinds. To wrap this video up, I just want to say that the most commented tip on my Twitter was doing 1v1s and free building. And of course, I agree, doing free builds and 1v1s is one of the best ways to improve mechanics, but it's also the most obvious one. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you did, be sure to drop a comment as well as a like down below. It greatly supports me and the channel. And with that said, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until tomorrow, take care.